Hi there, it's Olga here, Pisola co-founder. Today I'd like to introduce you to our new social media post analyzer and walk you through how easy and simple it is to analyze any Instagram post and get analytics of the influencers. So let's see how, how it works. So let's go to Instagram and choose the post that we want to analyze. So let's analyze this post. We copy the URL link and we simply embed it, paste it into Post Analyzer and click Discover Insights. So in, so in a couple of seconds, you get all the insights into this post performance. So basically what we do, we import like all the, all, all the images of the post. You can see them here. If there are several, they'll all appear here. We give you the main engagement metrics. So you see how engagement rate is for this particular post, the number of comments, likes the post got and the total influencer metrics. We run image recognition uh, on the images and we tell you the brand safety metrics. So basically we tell you how safe um, this content is that the influencer created. So here you can see that this image is safe. So it's not adult, it's not spoof, it's not racy. It's unlikely medical and it's unlikely violent. So this is very important information from, for brand safety. What we do, we extract the main colors from the image and we give you the mood board here. So this uh, feature is very important um, if you want to create mood boards and it's getting more and more popular in the influencer marketing to create mood boards and to give mood boards to influencers to produce content. So this basically you can use to analyze if the influencer created within these colors or you want to instruct them to create in this palette. Then we go search the web and we tell you if the image is unique that the influencer produced. Very often influencers are using and reusing images for various different purposes. So here we tell you how the produced image is unique. So we go, we search the web on all similar posts and we can see that there is nothing similar and that the image is unique. We of course extract the image web reference from the post, right? So we read the objects and we, yeah, we read even the labels of the brand. So here you can see that, you know, the image has the mention of the brand um, and it's great, right? So instructed to display the brand in the post, you can clearly see it here. And now, and now we set up. Then we go, we analyze the post caption. So here, basic, basically the text that the influencer wrote in the post and the text is positive and strength of emotions is 0 0.3, right? So we actually tell you how positive or negative the actually uh, text caption is. We also go and we analyze comments uh, underneath the post. So this post generated 102 comments. We analyze all of these comments and we tell you how negative or positive the response from the audience was. And these comments were analyzed as super positive with high strengths of emotion. So what you can do with our post analyzer, you can actually go and you can check the engagement rate for the influencer, which means that you're going further and dig deeper into the analytics of the influencer account. So this is the number of follows and following that this influencer had. So you can see the trend, see the trends. Uh, you can see that her um, engagement rate on the whole profile is medium. Actually, it's quite good engagement for the group of super influencers, right? So this influencer has 1 million plus following. So this is a macro and super influencer. Uh, we give you as well the average number of comments the profile gets and the profile average likes. This section is very important. So here we, we give you the engagement rate trends. So what we do we actually analyze how the influencer scores in relation to the average engagement rates for the group. So we can see that average engagement rate for the group of super influencers is 3.34%. This is the number of average likes this super influencers have and the a number of average comments that the influencers have. So she scores this influencer in the last 12 posts scores higher in terms of engagement rate as per the average engagement rate for the, the group, which is great. So here you can see as well six last posts of the influencer on the Instagram. Then you can go deeper and you can see the audience insights in more details. So the audience of this influencer is mostly female, 81% is female. 
This is a very important section. We give you the active audience type. So we can tell you how many real people, how many mass followers, how many influencers, and how many suspicious accounts this influencer has in her active audience. This is very important information. So then we, of course, give you the geography of the audience. So you can see here that most of her active audience comes from Australia, US, and UK. These are the top global markets. And this is the active audience by city, right? So these are the top three cities which has the, which produces the most engaged audience with this influencer. Um, here is the activity by hour. So we can see here that at 6 p.m. this influencer has the highest uh, engagement with her audience. So if you're partnering with this influencer, you would ask her to post at 6 p.m. so she can get the highest engagement, right? This is the audience hashtags. So it's the basically the subjects and hashtags her, her audience is talking about and percentages of it. So her audience would talk about fashion, beauty, summer, photography, Insta, good, happy, and so on. This is a very interesting section. So here we give you the audience of value, which is very important. So here you can see quality followers of this influencer for each country. So what is quality followers? Quality followers is followers that are real people and who are influencers, excluding mass followers and suspicious accounts here, right? So if you're brand, you want, of course, to know what the actual quality influencer is, excluding suspicious and massive following accounts, right? So you can see here that um, this influencer has this amount of quality followers in Australia, and then the percentage of her audience of value, basically, in Australia. And here you can see as well CPM metrics and so on. So these features are very exciting and very new in the market. We're very delighted to bring it to all of our clients and brands. So you can easily use this, use this analytics before the campaign. So at the stage of planning, when you want to audit influencers and choose who is the best one to partner with. And of course, you can use these tools to analyze the performance of the influencer when you run or after you completed the campaign. So simply just hop on Pisolo and copy paste any URL from any Instagram and check out the analytics. Or of course, email me at olga at I'm always happy to give you demos and yeah, answer all your questions. Bye.